everyone! Today we're going to talk about how to clean a wig. And in this case, we're going to talk about how to clean a synthetic wig, and very specifically, a synthetic lace front wig. If you want to learn how, just stick around. Let's get started. Okay, first of all, you will see this wig is currently inside a hairnet which I highly recommend for all your wigs to keep them nice and neat. But this one is past its time of nice and neat and really needs cleaning, especially since it's a lace front wig and you have to glue it to your head there. So I'm gonna take off whoa, this net here. Before we can dunk this thing in water, you need to pull out any bobby pins or anything like that and really just brush through the thing. When I say brush, I really mean comb with a wide tooth comb so you don't break any of the fibers. So we're just gonna do that. We are going to first take out all the body pins. I'll show you guys how to style an Elsa wig later. But first we gotta clean this one. I have white bobby pins. You can get these at Cell. You beauty supply. So down here we also have a clear elastic. We'll take that off too and start unbraiding. So this is beyond just how to wash a wig. It's how to completely clean it and get it ready for a restyle. If you get to a part that is so knotted up that you can't unbraid it, first of all, bad like me i shouldn't have let it get to this point very gently you don't want to rip through and ruin your wig get out the tangles if you have a super duper tangly wig the synthetic wigs take a spray bottle and mix half and half water and fabric softener and you swish it all around then you'll spray it on and it will help everything come out nice and neat i'll show you another way to get out the frizziness when i do the restyle video. So just keep doing this until the whole thing has come through. And I know it's a pain, but you need to do it now. Otherwise you're gonna be a big matted mess when you go to wash it. All right, so when you're done combing through, it's time to go to the sink. So I'll meet you there. Okay, so we have our wig right here all nice and combed out. So it's tangle free for the most part. And now it's time to wash all the gunk out of it, especially I'm gonna show you just how yucky this gets. Like, look at this. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. No, we gotta get all of that out. There's different things that you can use to wash with wig shampoos, but I'm gonna show you how to clean your wig using just something you have around your house. Baking soda. I like to just start by getting my wig wet, and there's actually some important things about this. If you have a wig that is either curly and you want it to stay curly, or wavy and you want it to stay wavy, or you have a wig that is not heat resistant, make sure you do not use hot water. Otherwise, you will straighten the curl right out of it. If the water you use is too hot on a non-heat resistant wig, you could ruin it. I've had incidents not with water, but I have accidentally singed the hair right off of a wig that I thought was heat resistant, and it wasn't. Don't be me. If you've got one of these little cute little plug things to plug at the bottom, you'll want to use that. So make sure the water is nice and cool. Now this is a heat resistant wig, so I and it's free. So I could get away with using warmer water. So I'm kind of using like a leaf one right now. I'm getting all the hair wet. And then the out. kind of like you hear yourself your head shower. Now take your baking soda and shake it around, especially the areas that are really dirty. Actually, we can turn this off for now. Take your baking soda and scrub it into the wig like you're scrubbing your hair. Maybe I can zoom in, scrubbing around. Especially some of this front gunk up here that I showed you, you wanna get your front gunk off. So. 
sprinkle a whole bunch of baking soda on that and just smoosh it in there. We're gonna let it sit for a minute too. I'm really massaging that baking soda in to get all of the gunk. Okay, here was another section up front where people glue a lot. Any area that's glued heavily, make sure you pour more baking soda there than you are in the other places because you've got to get that out. I'm trying to scrub where you can see it. We also want to get some throughout the rest of the hair too if it's dirty. Mine's really not very dirty. It's mostly just this area around the head. So you can focus your concentration there but you can use that throughout the whole wig and it really helps get the product out. I'm going to let this sit. yours sit for a minute and be right back when it's done soaking in there. Now that your wig has a minute to sit there and get all of the gunk off of it with the baking soda, you can go ahead and rinse that out. Rinsing, rinsing. I rinsed out the baking soda. Now what I'm going to do is you can either take your wig shampoo, which I honestly don't even have any, or you can take a, a gentle hair shampoo, not necessarily, but like maybe, a ba maybe like a baby one or something that's not super heavy because you don't want to get a lot of product in your wig because it's a wig, it's not your head. You can take like a hand soap or a dish soap. It's basically like a plastic or a fabric. So I'm actually gonna try some hand soap. I haven't tried it before. My wig's not super dirty. So it should be fine. All right, so I'm just gonna bring it through. in there too. You don't want to just wash the outside. Right, every time you wear a lace front wig and you use spirit gum or glue or something to hold it to your head, you should be cleaning that off. This is not what you do after every single time. So when you're done and good and scrubbed through, and scrubbed through without making a total mess of the wig by the way, we just combed it all out. We just lather it up and pull it all the way through. Then it's time to rinse it. Now I'm going to drain that water. Draining the water. The water is drained and now we're going to rinse. Make sure to rinse out all the baking soda, any remnants of soap or shampoo. I think it's pretty well rinsed out here. So now just squeeze out gently. Now that you squeezed out the excess water, we're just going to lie it out to dry. And let's see, I'm going to sit it here. Okay, I moved the camera so hopefully you can see how I have it lying out here to dry. In a nice clean spot. Don't sit it somewhere dirty, you just washed it. And now all you have to do is wait for it to dry. And we will check on you tomorrow. And that's it! Now your wig should be nice and clean. So in our next video, I'm going to show you how to take this or your own nice new clean wig and show you how to style an Elsa wig. It'll be a lot of fun. And we'll get to start off with a nice new clean wig. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you try it out. Let me know if you have any products that you, or wig shampoos that you like to use. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That way you get to see how to turn your wet animal looking wig into a nice Elsa wig. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye bye. Come gently. Be nice. It doesn't grow back like if it's on your head. Oh, There's no point in washing your wig in a dirty sink. Ew. Elsa, what did you do to make your hair so messy?